Hi crafters, today I'm going to create a window display card. I'm starting uh, by creating a card base for and a quarter by five and a half inches side fold and then I'm going to use uh, the set of dice called Maxwell. It's by Birch Design. They're actually the layering dice and they're meant to be stacked one on top of another and that is what I'm going to do now. I'm using the liquid glue and I'm just um, attaching them to the card base, one by one. If you are interested in the supplies that I'm using, they are all listed on my blog and in the description for this video. Now I'm going to use a rectangle basics die set to create a wide frame. I'm going to use uh, the dice number 1 and number 8. I'll be using this brick uh, texture embossing folder by Sizzix to add some texture and color to my frame. So I have put uh, some ink, it's Hickory Smoke Distress Ink by Ranger. And now I'm closing the folder and running it through the machine. Then to expand the pattern I'm going to repeat this process. To create my scene, I'm going to use some fairy dies. They are from the Poppy Stamps last release. You can see that each of them comes with a pair of beautiful wings, but um, for this project I'm going to use only the bodies, because they are not going to be the fairies, they are going to be the dummies. I have die cut the same image out of white cardstock, and uh, now I'm going to create a dress of this second image. It's just like um, you would do with paper dolls. So I'm trimming this skirt and I'm drawing uh, the dress outline and then I'm going to cut it out with the scissors. I'm using glossy accents to stick the top of my dress to the um, silver body. This die is Sweet Pea Flowers, also by Poppy Stamps, but actually I'm going to use one of those flowers to create a nice skirt for this dress. So I'm just trimming the stem, and then I'm going to stick this uh, flower outline on top of a piece of vellum. I'm going to inlay this little piece for the top of my skirt. And then I'm fussy cutting all this image, trimming off all the excess vellum. And now I'm simply adding this skirt to the body of the dummy. The next dress is the easiest one. I'm simply drawing the sleeves and the neck and I'm cutting out this, this dress. For the next outfit I will also need a tiny piece of gray, light grey cardstock and I'm just um, inking it with hickory smoke. And uh, that was to create the leggings and the tunic. The next step is adding some sequins to embellish my dresses.
Now I'm going to use this uh, small strip of cardstock to create teeny tiny tags that I'm going to hang on my dummies. Now I'm piercing the, a hole in each of the tags and then I'm going to fold uh, the thread in two and feed it through the needle and then feed it through the hole in the tag. Hope it makes sense. But that makes possible to tie this thread around uh, the hole. Now I just have to write down some nice prices for the dresses on the tags. I'm squeezing a dot of glue onto the die cut and then I'm wrapping the thread around it. And when it dries I can trim off the tail. You can see I have attached some foam squares onto the die cuts and now I'm uh, placing the frame on top to be able to see where I have to position all the dummies. To make this frame into a window I'm going to attach a piece of acetate at the back side of it. The acetate is followed by a piece of black craft foam. Then I'm also applying some adhesive on top of the sheet of foam. I have also decided to add some silver star sequins to turn this window into a shaker card. So not only will they add some shine, but they will also create some ground. So my dummies will not be floating in the air. Now I have die cut uh, the thin frame using the same die set and I'm going to attach it on top and this will really make, uh, make it look like a real shop window. I'm also going to add a sentiment to the card and I'm going to use the one from Fairy Sentiments stamp set by Poppy Stamps. I have stamped the sentiment on a piece of uh, black uh, cardstock and now I'm going to silver emboss it. Now I'm trimming off the excess cardstock and then I'm going to round the corners. I'm using tape adhesive to attach this strip to my card front. Now all it's left to do is to attach some sequins around the sentiment as well as at the top of the card. I'm using the centering ruler to find the right position for the stars. And that finishes my card for today. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you would like to see more, just tap any picture that you can see in the screen. Have a fabulous day and happy crafting!